Crisis facing nursing homes across our state has been front and center during the pandemic, and now state health inspectors and the National Guard will be making the rounds to inspect these facilities. Channel 3 New London Bureau Chief Kevin Hogan visited one in Mystic. He's live now at the obstacles they had to overcome to acquire protective gear. Well, Dennis, many obstacles to that. Mystic Healthcare is one of eight facilities statewide, which is owned by Rider Health Management. They operate the facilities all over the state. And the inspection that they had here yesterday, as they do with the others around the state, they aren't scheduled. That's because they want to make sure everyone has enough equipment, the PPEs, and they're prepared to use them. State health inspectors, along with two trained members of the Connecticut National Guard, found ample supplies of N95 masks, face shields, gowns, and gloves during their spot inspection yesterday. This second visit to Mystic also made sure staff is putting on gear properly and safely taking PPE off and discarding or sanitizing equipment. One thing they were impressed with was that uh, you know we're using paper plates and disposable products because their background was in uh, hospitality and also uh, food service. The Connecticut National Guard's primary inspection mission, along with Connecticut health inspectors around the state, is to make sure residents and healthcare workers are safe. This is not meant to be a gotcha or to catch somebody on a bad day. This is very much to make sure that procedures are being followed. We're trying to acquire product everywhere we can. That's a 24 hour day out. Martin Spriglio is CEO of Rider Health Management, a healthcare company that operates eight facilities throughout Connecticut. He hopes down the road, the state helps coordinate procurement of PPE for all healthcare facilities because he says it's getting expensive due to gouging. The costs are in many cases, a thousand plus percent higher than we wow. were paying a year ago. And Martin tells me another obstacle, Dennis, that they have to overcome is morale, keeping the morale up for both residents as well as the employees and the staffers here. And one of the things that helps them out is showing the love from all these signs and hearts in the community outpouring, the hearts that are on the building themselves. And something else that came by, a local family made special dark chocolate with love on it. That's love. Live at the Mobile News in Mystic, Kevin Hogan, Channel 3, Eyewitness News. That is